So hi guys, today we are going to talk about SPM 2016 at Maths Paper 2, Section 8. Now these questions, you are given frequency distrib distributions and the mass of watermelon at a fruit store. So table and information, it is given that the mean mass of the watermelons is 2.28 kg. So we know that the mean is 2.28. Part A, find the value of n. So we know that this is this table is a group data. So group data, we need to find anything also. We got to know, determine its midpoint. So 1.0 to 1.4, midpoint is 1.2, 1.7, 2.2, 2.7, and 3.2. So we got to times it with this and then divide total frequency equals 2.28 only we can find the value of n. So what do we do? The first thing one point two times six plus one point seven times ten plus two point two times n plus 2.7 times 14 plus 3.2 times 8 over sum of total frequency 6 plus 10 plus n plus 14 plus 8 equals to the mean mass given 2.28. So this is the working and first simplified nominator and denominator. So 1.2 times 6, we got 7.2. Then this one, 17 oh, plus 2.2n plus 2.7 times 14, we got 37.8. Then we plus again this one. This one, 3.2 times 8. So it is 25.6. Divide sum of this, 38 plus n equals to 2.28. We can again simplify. So how do we simplify here? This is in division form. So we are going to move it here to become multiplication. So plus all this, we got 87.6 plus 2.2n equals to 2.2838 plus n. Like that. Okay, so expand. We write again. 2.28 times 38 equals to 86.64 plus 2.28n. So move it around. So 2.28n minus 2.2n equals to 87.6 minus 86.64. So this is 0.08n and equals to 0.96. So n is equals to 12. So settle for part A and we know that n is equal to 12. So we can now know the total frequency. How do we know the total frequency? Plus this up because we already know number of n, value of n. So plus this up for part B. After that, let's see what the question requires. So part B. Total free free. One C equals to six plus ten plus twelve plus fourteen and eight. So all this becomes fifty. So total frequency is fifty. Now let's see what's the question. Hence without an ogive, without an ogive, without drawing ogive, calculate the median mass of the watermelon. What is the median mass of watermelon? Now second CF. What is CF? CF is cumulative frequency. Cumulative frequency, okay, we got to know. And then, this formula. This formula is for us to find median, but with group data. This question gives us, okay, group data. So, we use this group data formula. So, M equals to L plus N divided by 2 minus F divided by FM times C. So M refer, uh, refers to median, L refers to 
lower boundary of median class and then n divided by 2 number of theta which is total frequency so minus f f is total frequency before the median class okay take note before for f fm total frequency in median class take note in before and in before and in and then divide divide by fm okay done times c class size what is class size how do we find class size upper boundary minus lower lower boundary that's it then we can substitute every value in this formula super easy okay now rewrite the formula again so l refers to the lower boundary of the median class now where the median class lie here why because total frequency is 50 so medium is 50 divided by 2 so it's 25 25 lies here okay so it is here lower boundary of the median class lower boundary 1.1.95 1. 1. plus n number of data which means total frequency so 50 divided by 2 minus f what is f total frequency before before median class which is median class which is 16 divided by fm now what is fm total frequency in median class total frequency in median class is the value we found just now n so divided by 12 times c c is class size class size is upper boundary minus lower boundary so class size is Okay, 0 0.5. Okay, then we simplify. 1.95 plus 25 minus 16 divided by 12, 0 point, 0 0.5. So this one, 1.95, we write again. 25 minus 16 equals to 9 over 12. 0 0.5 we can simplify again this one 9 over 12 3 over 4 0 0.5 now we times it so we times it becomes 0 0.375 now finally we got the answer Two point three two five. Now, is this correct answer? Is this the correct answer? We can check it here. Since we determine the median lies here, so which means our answer should be in between two to two point four. Okay, so is our answer be in between two to two point four? Yes, it is in between two to two point four. So this is our our answer. So hope you understand, and thank you.